Welcome to my channel again. Teak Tectona grandis is one of the most precious hardwood species. It is popularly known as king of woods due to its physical and aesthetic quality. It is also the flagship species of forest sector. It has been most extensively studied in the world, so lot of information is available on it. The aim of this video is to share only some important aspects on teak especially about the possibility for establishing its plantation of increased yield, high quality with commercial value within a short period of time. In India, teak is known by different names such as Saguan, Segun, Saguani, Thekku, etc. It is a large deciduous tree which can attain a considerable size with a tall, clean cylindrical bowl. In exceptional cases, under favorable conditions, it can grow to a girt more than 6.3 meter and a height of 60 meter. Recently, a living tree of girt 7.6 meter and height of 40 meter has been located in Malayatur Forest Division in Kerala. In Karnataka state also, a living teak tree of height 33 meter with 5.83 meter girt exists in Bhadra Triga Reserve. However, the largest living tick is reported to be from Thailand with a dimension of 37 meter in height with 9.58 meter basal guard about its origin and distribution. Tick is indigenous to peninsula India, Myanmar, Thailand and Laos. Presently, it is grown in 70 tropical countries in the world including India due to its wide range of utility and commercial value. Due to overexploitation and deforestation, the natural teak forests have degraded to such an extent that the mature trees are confined only to Burma and to a little extent to India. So recently, teak has been enlisted as endangered species in IUCN list. Teak from Western Ghats, states like Kerala and Karnataka, attains huge size suitable for constructions such as for boat and ship making. The famous Nilambur tick has got GI tag recently for its unique quality. Chandrapur tick in Maharashtra is famous for its color and texture. Arilabad tick in Telangana is famous for its rose-colored hardwood. Godavari tick in Andhra Pradesh is well known for its ornamental figuring. Similarly, golden color tick is found in the districts of Sione in MP, Bastar and Kankar in Chhattisgarh, and Dandeli in Uttar Kannada, Karnataka. Interestingly, the first teak plantation in the world was raised in 1842 at Nilambur, Kerala, by sowing 30,000 seeds and 10,000 wildlings. It was initiated by the then district collector Connolly with the assistance of a local forest officer named Chotul Menon. Now, regarding its supply and demand, International Tropical Timber Organization, Japan, has forecasted demand for roundwood in India from 64 million cubic meter in 2023 to 98 million cubic meter in 2030. Presently, in India, only about 50,000 cubic meter Teak wood is harvested annually from domestic sources and more than 1 million cubic meter is imported to meet the demand. It is due to India's present conservation-oriented policy in forest sector. The increasing demand has to be met exclusively from the plantation-grown teak outside forest. The demand for teak in India will continue to rise despite of having engineered timber and other low-cost substitutes mainly due to increasing urbanization and expanding housing sector. Its price will continue to rise. In Karnataka, current Shinode's value of teak wood fixed by the forest department is rupees 97,812 per cubic meter. As per available data from recent years auction sales, conducted in four forest divisions in Karnataka, the average rates of teak wood per cubic meter 
were found to be rupees 30000 for low quality wood and up to rupees 371000 for high quality wood you will be surprised to know that very recently on february 2023 8 cubic meter of teak timber extracted from a fallen 114 years old teak tree in nilambur forest plantation was sold at rupees 39.25 lakh that is 4.9 lakh per cubic meter however teak timber from short rotation plantation grown on private land will fetch lower price now regarding its propagational cultivation usually teak is propagated through seeds it can be also propagated through grafting layering rooted cuttings and by tissue culture method from seeds stump based seedlings are raised in polythene bags or root trainers propagation of teak through seeds has some limitations teak tree produces limited quantity of seeds only 1 to 2 percent flowers are turned into fruits only about 30 to 50 percent seeds germinate in moist region and 5 to 10 percent seeds germinate in dry region seeds collected from early flowering tree will produce poor quality trees the individual trees in a plantation will differ in traits like growth stem form and wood characteristics even when derived from the same mother tree by contrast if we plant vegetatively propagated teak clones the resulting trees will uniformly exhibit all the desired characters of the mother tree nowadays mass propagation of teak clones are done through tissue culture method and also by rooted cuttings from selected mother trees the selected mother tree must be mature enough with outstanding desired qualities for raising quality teak plantation you have to fulfill certain requirements first requirement is selection of good site for best growth annual rainfall requirement is from 1250 mm to 3750 mm with minimum temperature range 13 degree celsius to 16 degree celsius and maximum temperature range from 39 degree celsius to 43 degree celsius open site up to 750 meter elevation is the best alluvial soil sandy loam soil are the best soil should be well drained fairly deep with ph range from 6.5 to 7.5 black cotton soil clay soil lateritic soil saline and waterlogged soils should be avoided other requirements are use of genetically improved planting materials adequate soil preparation and advanced pitting work at desired spacing timely execution of all silvicultural operations and lastly protection from fire pests and diseases normally a closure spacing of 2 meter by 2 meter is practiced by forest department to enhance initial height growth with straight and clean bowl in case of farmland a wide spacing like 3 meter by 3 meter or 3.5 meter by 3.5 meter or 4 meter by 4 meter can be adopted for producing large size logs in a short period planting is done in rainy season in 45 centimeter by 45 centimeter by 45 centimeter size pits farmyard manure should be added in the pits at the time of planting teak response to fertilizers only at young age application of 50 gram urea 30 gram superphosphate after 6 months and 75 gram urea and 60 gram superphosphate per plant after 2 years is beneficial protected irrigation during summer should be done excessive irrigation may cause more saput and also water blisters in the stem pruning during dry season at early stage is required to obtain not free landy high quality timber pruning only up to 50 percent of the total height of the tree should be done timely thinning operation is needed to reduce inter tree competition the forest department follows five to eight thinnings at interval due to closure spacement and long rotation period of 50 to 120 years long rotation is not attractive to private growers who expect return in a short period on farmland with good soil 
wider spacing, improved quality planting materials and proper management practices, harvesting may be done from 15 years onwards, though harvesting between 20 to 30 years is ideal. In that case, two selective thinnings, once at 7 to 8 years and another at 13 to 14 years are enough. A 8 year old tree may contain up to 30% hardwood, while in a 50 year old tree may reach up to 90% hardwood. In Brazil, the clonal tick plantation is harvested in 15 to 20 years, while in Venezuela, tick is harvested even at 6 years age. In India, in a 50 year rotation, mean annual increment MAI ranges from 2 to 10 cubic meter per hectare per year, particularly in forest plantation. Another report indicates that tick can attain optimum timber strength properties in 20 to 30 years with a recorded MAI 10 to 20 cubic meter per hectare per year. Even at 20 years, if we assume MAI about 5 cubic meter per hectare, it will be worth. The short duration tick is reported to be not so inferior in density and strength and the maturation age is attained at about 15 to 25 years. On farmland, a 15 years old tree may attain an average girth of 90 centimeter to 1 meter at breast height but with more sapwood content. At 25 years age, a tree may attain an average girth of about 1.2 to 1.3 meter with 80% hardwood in the log. So even the growers harvest the plantation at 15 years age, it will be better if he can retain some trees to harvest at 25 years age or even at later age to get high quality commercial timber. The farmer should procure improved planting materials from reliable sources only. IFGTB Coimbatore recently developed three improved tick clones, namely IFGTB TG1, TG2, and TG11. The institute also provides technical support. Improved tick clones are also supplied by some private companies like Mother Agri Biotech, Laboratory India Private Limited, based at Chikbalapur in Karnataka, and Hindustan Lab at Kolapur in Maharashtra. Interested growers may contact these sources. Lastly, I would like to mention that there is ample opportunity for farmers to grow tick plantation in agroforestry system to generate income. The private growers and forest corporations can go for large-scale commercial plantations of tick. The government should encourage tick growers, especially the smallholders, to plant tick through incentive schemes marketing support. Sotisgar government already has such incentive scheme. The state forest departments and forest research institutes should supply adequate quantity of quality tick seedlings and improved tick clones. The state government should also simplify failing transport and trade regulations as per recent guidelines issued by the central government. Karnataka state government has already relaxed failing permission in semi melnard and Maidan region. Government should also promote innovative certification system for the tick growers. In situ and ex situ conservation of tick will help to develop new clones for agroforestry in future. Thank you.